Hello YouTube. Someone here in the scrap here today I picked up a couple of their sleds right here. Picked up two more ski rolls. Picked up a laser and an ultra 440s. 1976. Laser and ultra. They look uh, well they're kind of rough shape. The Ultra is definitely a parts machine, it's a 447 Ultra, wide, 17 inch wide track. Yeah. Dash is okay shape. Has about almost 300, 3000 uh, miles on it. Temperature gauge. Headlight up high. That's all busted up there, that's all gone. Windshield's still there though. Someone put caulking all the way around it. Um, it's locked up. The motor. Toolbox full of garbage. The seat covers are original though. Has the backlight. Still a nice shape, I think. And the rear grab is broken. Always like the shocks on these rear shocks. Track is, I think it's okay ish. I don't really know. Yeah, it's missing a few things underneath the hood. It's locked right up. If I can open it up. There we go. Yeah, it's missing the carburetor. Spark plug missing out of it. Missing a bunch of parts. It's pretty rough. It's been a parts machine, I think, for the laser. Apparently the person used to own these at one point, bombed together at the same time, and looks like they drove the Ultra, so the Ultra gave out, and they started working on the laser. Because it's missing its CDI box. I'm thinking it's in here. Well, this one, this one's not in too bad of shape. The laser, it has, 1600 miles on it and the gauge is for left and right of the cylinder that one just has the temperature for both this one has it for each individual cylinder it has a mirror <laughs> also has original seat cover on it so they're all damaged though so they're no good ripped right up even has the build sheet on the side there those are always missing it has a roll of flex some snow flap This one's pretty complete. Dash is pretty beat up on this one. A bunch of other stuff, the old CDI box and spark plugs, tools. Got your primer. Got your choke that's seized. And the key missing. But it turns over. That is the main thing for this one. It turns over. Open up the hood here. It's all complete. Electrical box, there's the air duct for the fan shroud and the exhaust one. That one's all broken up, but the Ultra has a nice one. Kind of like the air box, everything's all there. The carburetor, the carburetor's not seized up. Nothing is. The hood's broken, cracked up front, but it's not as bad as the Ultra. It's, this one's a lot fixable, more fixable than this. Just cracks down there, right down there. Someone added a venting port, I guess. Suck in cold air. So this one has a headlight added on. That's not the correct headlight. This one is. This one's missing the pigtail for it though. Someone painted skis at one point black. Um, this one has a really nice track compared to the Ultra. Like, oops, it's in pretty nice shape compared to the Ultra. And the suspension is really nice. This will be a future restoration project, I'm thinking. The laser. 
It's a 440 plus, which means the plus means it's a 17 inch wide track. They made the 440 plus, the 440, and the 340. 340s you don't see that often. I've only ever seen maybe one or two. I know one for sure. Um, the 440s, they're just a 15 inch wide track. I've seen a couple of those. I almost bought one. And the 440 plus is the, the uh, 17 inch wide track, which is the one I wanted. So I got one. And all for the price of a hundred bucks <laughs> for both of these. So, and it wasn't that far away. So I'm pretty happy with these. I sold the Olympic that I had. I have a video on that I picked up. I sold it for 50 bucks the same day. I bought, sold it yesterday and I bought these yesterday. So I only spent 50 bucks all, actually. So I'm not complaining. The laser, actually I did spray some oil. fuel down the cylinders. It had spark and it actually fired up. It hasn't ran in 10 years. So, yeah. These are pretty cool little sleds. I can't wait to get the 440 plus running. I would not mind restoring the 440 uh, laser. That'd be a kind of a cool one to restore and maybe make it as a rider vintage for the vintage rides. That'd be a very fun sled to ride. 1976. I picked up those and last week I picked up for a friend a John Deere Spitfire. This also runs too. This one was running last winter apparently. This in the fuel pump. A little 340 Kawasaki. Picked up for a friend. It's not my kind of thing to collect John Deere's anymore. I used to, but not anymore. It's a 1980. A little fireburst engine in it. I had it running too, actually, on spray. It's actually very complete. It smells like fuel, though. It has really good compression. Crazy. Here's the air box. It's supposed to go. Right there for the carburetor. It's just off. I think you got himself a good deal for this one. The only thing I can tell is it's missing the fuel pump. Seats there. That's a cleated track, which is in nice shape. And a toolbox here. It's a pretty nice little sled, actually. It's very light compared to all my other ski rolls out here <laughs> but yeah I can't wait for these this laser hoping to find a couple more I've always wanted a laser and this is the one I wanted 1976 laser 440 plus with the wide 17 inch wide track this is the one I wanted so once I've done the SX 440 hopefully this winter I'll work on the RTW, 1973 RTW ski roll, and maybe work on this right after this. So maybe in the next year or so, I'm hoping to work on this one. I just got so many projects; it's getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> but I can't say no for a hundred bucks for these two. So what other things I've been doing is um, I rebuilt the motor for the SX440 that I've been restoring, 1971 ski roll. Had a vapor blasted, new rings, new bunch of new old stock stuff. I gotta put a belt in there. I just bought a belt there this week. Couldn't have one. Carburetor gotta put back on it. I gotta fix this wiring harness that goes inside of here. Um, it's damaged. That's an easy fix, so that'd be later. I don't feel like doing that right now. I rebuilt it last week or something like that. Got a bunch of parts in for it, so. It's almost ready to rock and roll. Excited exciting getting this motor done. All vapor blasted, cleaned up, new rings, new condensers, new points, new old stock points, new old stock rings. I had to reuse the pistons, new old stock, new old stock uh, needle bearings for the pistons. Um, gasket kit, full gasket kit on this thing. So it's good to go. I might have to do some work on the recoil, clean it up a little bit. I just threw it on there. And I'm working on the hood today. 
I might uh, do some fiberglass work on that. I got it all sanded down, grinded all the sparta cracks out, so I'm going to do put some filler in there, fiberglass filler. I'm not using the Bondo there. I've mean, had some other stuff. I was using that for the chassis over there. Um, i got to put some resin in here, some pads, um, fiberglass pads in here. I can't find my uh, resin for it. I don't think I have any, so I'll have to maybe get some more, look in the back for some more. This hood had some repairs in the past. But, yeah. I'm slowly getting it. I just don't have the motivation. This is the least favorite part of my of doing these kind of things. I don't like doing this part. <laughs> it's so hard. Like, this is all primed, but i got to prime it again. And it's kind of like, ugh. I'm not really in the mood to do it again. I'll try. I'm going to try to get it done. At least I get something a little bit done each day. I don't really care. It's getting close to winter, it's like September already, so I better get this least primed. That and this again, and I'm going to put it away and wait for it to get painted. So that I don't really care about. As long as this is done and that's done, primed, ready for paint, I don't really care about the rest. It's easy stuff. I still got the seat recovered. It's been kind of... Need some extra money to get this done. So I had to spend a lot of money on my truck, so... Yep, so I think that's all for today. So thanks for watching videos. I know it's been getting a lot of new subscribers, finally. <laughs> um, more views on my channel, so the more views I guess and subscribers I get and likes, comments and stuff, the more I want to do this, so that's always good. So yeah, thanks for watching.